need to get a date. Good morning. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day. It is Monday, August the 23rd here on the campus of Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This is Queen Battle, Certified Medical Assistant, Adult and Pediatric First Aid, American Heart Association, uh, Community Health Advocate, Public Safety. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty much going to get into the issue. Morning. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so um, I want to talk about what is research. I'm gonna make this. A qu I'm trying to make this a quick video because my battery is running out of energy. Okay. okay. All right. So research. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily have to, I just want to make this statement very clear because I'm going to share this with the Facebook community as well as post this on my LinkedIn page as well as post this on Instagram. I want to make this point very clear, okay? Especially when you're dealing with issues like COVID-19, a viral issue, a viral disease, okay, that has been existence for over five to ten years. Okay, that has been made aware of the public, has been made aware through the scientific community for years and years and years. A lot of people have made a political issue that because you are not working in a scientific lab, therefore what you're doing is not research. That is not the case. Okay, especially when you're dealing with COVID-19, okay, this viral, this respiratory illness you have to address the symptoms first, the symptoms of the virus, and then deal with the biology part about it later. Because you have to deal with the physical symptoms because it is affecting the public and the global community as a whole. You have to deal with what you see physical and then address the biology later. What are the symptoms? And then we'll get to the biology part of it later because we have to figure out, we need to figure out a way to deal with this physical part first, take care of it, and then through the biology, do the vaccine. It has its been in prior existence in other parts of the world. Okay. And what can we do about it? Either to put an end to this pandemic or to make sure that it is contained and in control the COVID-19 virus whatever kind of variants whatever kind of other conditions come out of it now a lot of people say well it's not research because it's not in a scientific chemical lab that's not necessarily the condition because a lot of doctors and a lot of nurses they they do work in labs but they also work in inpatient settings in a hospital setting as well as in an outside setting where they're dealing with the public, okay, you have outside clinics. A lot of COVID, a lot of these COVID testing sites are outside on the streets, okay, in the community, as well as in bus stations, bus terminals, out at community centers, whatever is going on. That is scientific research behind COVID. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a in a scientific controlled, contained environment with uniforms and, and gloves and masks and all that stuff. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that kind of controlled environment, but you still want to try to figure out some way to con contain the illness, to contain the disease. Okay. 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 You have to figure out some way to control and contain the disease. Okay. So I just want to make, make this point clear. You have the biologist and the chemical scientific part about it in the scientific community that it deals with the biology part. Okay. That's research as well as the doctors, the nurses, the, uh, the social, um, social workers, Okay, the community health advocates, the mental health advocates that also do 
COVID-19 research and how it affects the community. There's also research behind COVID-19. You have the scientific aspect of it, the biological aspect of it, as well as, okay, you also have the social aspect of it, how it is affecting the environment. Okay, now I know my books suck, but I'm really trying to work on them. Okay. Okay, so there are different ways of doing research, but the main, I'm going to share this to all my Facebook groups, okay, before my battery runs low. The main thing about research, though, whatever kind of, what kind of, uh, whatever written authority you have under it, make sure that your results, okay, are proven and exposed for the public to be made aware of it, to be made aware of what you have been doing, made aware of your knowledge, okay. You can call it research, you can call it a project, you can call it a paper, you can call it a business, you can call it a nonprofit, you can call it a community group, you can call it a community network. Whatever it is, whatever you're doing, you can call it an NGO, whatever it is that you're doing, okay, is still research. Make sure that it is, has been proven to the community and make sure that people are made aware of what you are doing and the results of what you have been doing have been published or have been talked about or have been discussed with other people in your, hi, good morning, in your social network. Whether it's in your social network, whether it's a professor, whether it's a governing body, whether it's a board of directors, whether it's the Department of Public Health, whether it is Washington, D.C., whoever it is within your network, okay, is made aware of the results of what you have been doing. Okay? That is research in Queen Battle's opinion. Research doesn't have to be in a scientific lab. It doesn't have to be in a scientific chemical lab, laboratory. It doesn't have to be. But still, people are made aware of what you're doing and the results have been published or the results have been discussed about with other people. And you pass, you pass down your experiences and the results to the public. And they're made aware, made aware, and they can share that knowledge with other people. And that is research. Research is doing, doing an experiment, doing a project, and sharing the results with other people so they can, will continue to pass down that knowledge to others. Okay? And, and research doesn't have to be right. Research can be wrong. It can be proven false, or it can be proven correct. But whatever it is, that at, le at least... Okay, at least that project was had was placed. Okay, at least somebody did a project, did an experiment. Okay, and the results were given, either good or bad, but still that that experiment was decided. Okay, that experiment was given. Okay, research can be good and research can be bad. But still, it's still research. And that's a good thing about it because people can then, at the same time, go back in and see the work that you've done as a professional. Okay, they can see the work that you've done as a student, as a professional, as a person in the community. They can see that same work, okay? and make changes to it or make notations to it and that's how research works the best when people go into it and they make changes to something that has been proven or like oh we're going to do a different app or we're going to do a different version or we're going to do something different and we're going to change it for the better of the public so people don't like Facebook, they go to Instagram. People don't like Instagram, they go to Twitter. People don't like Twitter, they go to LinkedIn. People don't like LinkedIn, they go to WhatsApp, okay? People make changes to research and then they make changes and some people may like the changes or not, but still it has been, been made and notified to let other people know, be made aware of it, okay? That is research. 
I just want to make this clear. I'm going to share this with my Facebook groups and friends. Research doesn't have to be good or it doesn't have to be bad. But the public is made aware of the results about it and can make their own decisions based on that research, based on this written work or based on this project that somebody has undertaken. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is McQueen Battle, a battle for a responder services here at, at Harvard University campus. Like I said before, research doesn't have to be good and it doesn't have to be bad, but at least somebody is made aware of the work that you have been doing and your results are being shared with the public so that people can make changes and differences to what you have done. Okay? I need to go to worship. All right, so this is McQueen. I love you guys.